Hi everyone, today I'm going to get into the Minecraft movie here since this first trailer that came out September 4th has a lot of interesting decisions made about this movie. I also waited a while to see how things would turn out and there's more than just graphics that this movie is failing at now and I want to talk about it. I'll talk generally about the trailer first and then later I'll get into more specific and in-depth points. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to talk about the things I hate about this trailer first. The mob designs I really don't like. I think they should be sharper and more cartoony like the actual game. An example of this being done right is actually Barbie. In Barbie, the whole world was very fake and unrealistic and synthetic. The whole Barbie land and the physics in Barbie land and everything, it was so unrealistic and so perfect and it worked for the movie's style and they used a lot of meta parts in that movie and it just worked to the movie's benefit and I feel like they could do the same for Minecraft if they did it right. You know, maybe call out how weird a creeper looks, you know? Maybe make it unrealistic, maybe make the blocks very sharp. Maybe make the mobs very sharp. I guess make that contrast between the live action character and the really weird environment which is Minecraft and I think that just works better than these realistic weird creepy designs. The other thing I hate about this trailer is we have just too many damn characters here. Like just leave it to Steve or Steve and Alex. Keep it single player or light multiplayer so you can really have that Minecraft story because let's be real a lot of people are just playing single player in this game. On the other end, I would definitely like a Minecraft movie about servers and Minecraft servers and that online play because it is an interesting topic. If they ever do a really good Minecraft movie and they have a sequel, a Minecraft movie about servers like Mineplex and Hypixel and those games would definitely be interesting. But doing this Jumanji style, having these like five, six characters, I just don't know if it really works here. Especially since there's that alternative of just having Steve or Steve and Alex and just do the story of those characters and how they defeat the Ender Dragon or something. Another thing I hate about this trailer is that there's a nether portal or seemingly to be a nether portal and it is blue. Nether portals are usually purple and maybe they're gonna have blue and purple but this is really reminding me of the FNAF movie and if you don't know what happened with the FNAF movie, the FNAF movie basically split off from the game and the FNAF movie isn't that bad. It's pretty all right. Not that amazing of a movie but it's not that bad. But it did really break away from the core gameplay of the FNAF game. And I won't go into spoilers because if you haven't watched it, I don't spoil it, but it did break off. It did do something different compared to the game. And that was mainly the main criticism against the FNAF movie is that, yeah, I would say just keep the purple portal and try to emulate the game pretty closely. And the Minecraft actual story of the nether and the end, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. I think you can move it into a movie without losing too much of that actual game and what's in the game. The final thing I hate about the Minecraft movie trailer, and this is more of a dislike, but it's the blocks. They basically made the Minecraft blocks a little more round, and I think that's to fit the mob design with the realistic kind of mobs. And I think this kind of works because from far away, the blocks work pretty well. Up close even, they're pretty alright. It's only that when I did look at some edits of people putting film or television or YouTube characters into the Minecraft world. It almost looks better in some ways because of the unrealistic and Minecrafty environment. Maybe I'm too used to how the game looks, but I really like the blocky and colorful and interesting nature of the Minecraft game more than this trailer. I think just the more unrealistic textures and the unrealistic blocks being so sharp and everything would work for the Minecraft movie as well and then you could even make a joke about how sharp the cubes are when they just arrive in the Minecraft world or whatever. I don't think the blocks are as bad as the mobs but I definitely think the blocks are affected by the mob changes and the general styling being off. So yeah. Now, things I like about the Minecraft movie trailer. I like Jack Black as Steve. I think it works well. You could debate that maybe he's not the most blocky actor, maybe he's a little round, but I think the character and personality is there for Steve. That beard being there it makes sense. You know, Steve is in the wilderness, in forests and stuff. The only civilizations are really villages, which I don't think have some type of razor to shave the beard, so. And I think the personality of Jack Black fits well with that Steve personality, which with Steve, he doesn't really have too much of a personality, so we kind of just infer he's just, you know, this normal man who got sucked into the Minecraft world and is in this barren wilderness, which is Minecraft. 
Another thing I like about the Minecraft movie trailer is that it's live action. You know, this is probably going to be a very hot take, but it's been 20 or so years of seeing these Minecraft characters and their pixel count is pretty low. And in all honesty, I don't really want to be sitting in the theaters watching low poly Minecraft characters for an hour or more. Especially when the rest of the graphics are more simplistic. Combining that with the animation, I think it's just not that great. So I'm really more intrigued on seeing a live action version of Minecraft. I would have the same issue with Roblox because Minecraft and Roblox go hand in hand with these weird wacky characters. For something like Mario and Sonic and Pac-Man, I think that works better in an animated sense. Pac-Man in the way that you can't really cast a real person for Pac-Man at all, that just doesn't work. Sonic, that wouldn't work either. And Mario, in theory you can cast a real person, but it works all right as an animation because it is Mario, pretty iconic character, and his proportions, his face, is pretty similar to a real life person. Again, if it was just that 1985 Mario pixelized and everything, I don't think I would watch an hour and 30 minutes of that. Another thing I like in the Minecraft movie trailer is Jason Momoa. I think Jason Momoa works well because he's this energetic actor who does Fast and the Furious, Aquaman, stuff like that. So him just going into the Minecraft world, picking up a crafting table and making this stuff, making these builds, I think would fit his character really well. But out of the four people that I guess stumble into the Minecraft world first, I think Jason Momoa has the most potential to be a good character. The last thing I like about the Minecraft movie trailer, and this is something I mentioned in the hating part, but I do like the general environment. I'm excited to see the different environments they go to, maybe the deserts, maybe the snow biomes. The blocks might not be perfect, but the general environments I do like. Now it's time to get into the more specific points I have for the Minecraft movie trailer. I'm making this video on the 12th of September and the trailer is aged on me and it's not as bad style wise after seeing the animated versions people have made. I still stand on my points but I'm a bit less annoyed about the graphics more than I am worried about the story. What this movie kind of needs, you know, only in my opinion, just take it with a grain of salt. This movie needs to reel in on what Minecraft is about more. The biggest thing worrying me about this movie is that there are so many characters in this. A movie with only Jack Black as Steve or Steve and Alex would probably be better at telling the Minecraft movie as a whole. Most people play single player anyway, so it'd probably connect well with that. I am worried that this movie will just be another mediocre or even worse family movie that doesn't tell a strong story. We have seen recently the pure contrast between the Sonic 3 movie trailer and this trailer. The story thus far in the Minecraft movie trailer seems much more generic. So even if the movie stylistically looks not great, the bigger issue might be the story here. The fact with all these random characters might be a sign of a less focused, less sharp, less developed script and story when the movie does release. But the main takeaway for the studio is that I've been seeing on social media, in my film classes even, that the Minecraft movie, it looks really bad stylistically. The mobs look horrible, the blocks are only okay, but the real issue is having all these characters, having a seemingly not good plot, and really not focusing in on the main Minecraft experience, the Minecraft story. But yeah, that's about it for this video. The graphics of the movie can be important, but the story is the main actual thing you're seeing. You're seeing the story, you're seeing the experiences that go on inside the screen, and so yeah. Anyway, like if you like, dislike, dislike, subscribe if you want, and bye.